5th American Utility Vehicle of the Year. That's big praise and big savings. Hyundai, the longer you look, the more there is to like. Now get a Kona for just $169 a month or get 0% APR for up to 72 months. Find your new Kona at buyhyundai.com. Honking construction noise, trucks, and crews banging. Most New Yorkers simply put up with living in a noisy city. But this Upper East Side resident, Mike Addison, is fed up. Those cement trucks have to back up. And that's louder than my alarm clock. The beep, 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 you know. 70 year old Edison says the last straw was when a new high rise started going up across the street. So he put up a fight, called 311, complained to police, contacted the construction company himself. Three o'clock in the morning on a Saturday, they had 20 cement trucks, so they woke everybody in the neighborhood up. I tried to get them to stop and they wouldn't, so I sued them and I um, found that small claims court was the best, your best bet. A very rare move, suing and winning to deal with noise, according to elected officials. He did something I never thought anyone would do. He got them to agree and he got paid. That is huge, and I really hope that more people do it. Edison has no legal background, but threatened several more companies near his home at 80th and 2nd Avenue for noise negligence, including Starbucks, Dwayne Reed, and Rite Aid for not following after hours noise codes. <laughs> Using video evidence like this of loud delivery crews working overnight. In all of the cases, Edison settled. Though he couldn't say exactly how much he got, it's in the thousands. And he says he gave most to charity. All I want to do is sleep through. Of the night. Edison says he feels like his neighborhood has quieted down since he took action. Though in the rest of the city, elected officials estimate the number of noise complaints is up 8,000 this year compared to the same period last year. Too many complaints for 311 to keep up with. That city agency would not go on camera today. On the Upper East Side, Natalie Dutteridge, CBS 2 News.